Hey there, Liz with Full and Fulfilled. Thanks for tuning in today's video. We are wrapping up the whole month of preserving and I couldn't be more excited with all the outcomes and things I was able to preserve this month. If you haven't seen my full series, check out week one, two, and three. This is week four and we are wrapping this up. I can officially say that I preserved a lot of food for a later date and I'm really, really excited about all of the results. So on this day, I ended up just doing potatoes and carrots. You can see that I just took them out of the pressure canner and have all of this so good. I just used water, a little bit of salt, and the vegetables, and then I pressure canned in the Balls Canning Recipe book. All right, so today I am freeze drying for my preserves. I took a bunch of garlic that I had, and I minced it, and I froze it like this so that I can layer it in here, and it's already frozen, which is great. I have a bunch of celery that I'm drying out and we'll just make celery powder for. So just put it on here. And I try to thin it out as much as I can. I'm gonna take some remaining mushrooms and I'm actually just gonna cut them up real quick with a knife and put them in here. And I also have some more bell pepper. Thinning actually to make a veggie mix with some broth to make ramen as backup food. So how pretty is that? And now for the garlic. Mm -hmm. This is going to smell. I'm just gonna try and see how it will do. I'm just gonna do little pieces. I did an applesauce slash apple butter today. And so I used five pounds of apples and I ended up getting 
eight half pints, which is awesome. And I kept all of my apple peelings because tomorrow I'm going to make a apple cider vinegar or I'm gonna at least start the process. So as I mentioned, I kept all of my scraps from my organic apples that I made the applesauce apple butter mix with. And so I kept all of this, seven cups, and I'm going to put it into here with about one to two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna fill the water all the way up to about a two inch headspace. And this is how I'm going to make some apple cider. All the scraps. So I will try to do a lot more this season, but this is what I have to start with. I press this down, you'll see that I'll be able to add a lot more water to it. I am starting to do, I know that I showed you guys in one of my other videos that I did garbanzo beans. And so I have been processing black beans and just so that I can have them available and ready to go. So I soak them overnight and then I process them the next day. And I've added a little bit of uh, lemon juice because it helps you be able to digest them at a later date. also took some green onions and the reason I had so many green onions is I actually started the roots in my garden so I bought organic green onions from the grocery store cut off the tops that I freeze-dried and then I actually rooted the other part the end into my soil Day, I decided to do bananas again and I did some raspberries and some strawberries. I've been hearing really good things about preserving strawberries and raspberries so I'm giving it a try. On the last day of the month, I did pinto beans, just getting more canned goods on the shelf that are ready to go, that I don't have to make. And following starch solution, I love my beans. So I did a full batch of pinto beans.
I will probably be doing a lot more beans in the upcoming months, just trying to get things on the shelf. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed this series. I may do it again next year, but it was really fun and super rewarding to have so many items preserved. Until next time, my friends.